What the heck are those ads? Is that- is that Among Us? You know what? His eyebrows look a little weird. Let's raise it up a little. Ooh, material girl. Okay, I just paid you in this round. But that's not enough to win me over. So I'm like on my iPad right now. Let's roast I just paid. Okay, let's open it up. First things first. What the heck are those ads? Is that- is that Among Us? Mamma mia. What the heck is this? It's giving gim. Okay, listen to me. When you're trying out during apps, there are a couple- of important tools that the program needs to have. Let's try to find it on here. So I'm at the settings right now, and there we go. Bam! The reference window. So this baby can either show your full drawing, or it could contain your reference, which is pretty convenient, obviously. Let us import a reference from Pinterest. Okay, in case you don't know what to search to get good results, just follow my lead, okay? So I'm gonna type aesthetic bad boy. Oh yes, the perfect keyword. And there we have it. Perfectly simple and breedable hot men. Mamma mia! Okay, let's use him as a reference because look at that hair! Zam! So I put him on here so I can admire him. Ooh la la! He's a little smegzy sussy bot. Okay, so how do we resize? So you select using the lasso tool. Alright. Then you just click the transform tool. Alright. And you just use your little fingers to just alright. Very smegzy. Okay, anyway, next we got the liquify tool. Hmm. So so at first I thought that Ibis Paint didn't have a liquify tool and I worked on this whole drawing without liquify which was torture. But apparently I was just stupid as hell because it's apparently this tool right here, this special tool. You make me feel special. Look at the little sparkles. What the heck is that? It's so tacky. Though. JK, I'm just a hater. Okay, cool. So I'm glad they have a liquify tool. Okay, Ibis Paint, you win this round. But that's not enough to win me over. Anyway, let us continue drawing this hot guy. Gosh, I miss drawing hot guys. Okay, I keep drawing girls because for some reason I get more views when I draw girls. But I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it for me this time. So yeah, I'm using this default pen right here. Okay, well, I would have used this brush. Someone made a brush based on my original brush from Clip Studio, but I wanted to see how I would do with the default brushes, alright? So let's just draw, draw, draw. And ooh, look at this chat. Okay, okay, Picasso. You know what? Let's add another layer. So we're gonna draw these poorly drawn glasses just as a reminder to put glasses on him later, alright? Anyway, let's go back. So I'm just gonna copy this little sussy Baka's hair. Very smegzy. Okay, you know what? His eyebrows look a little weird. Let's raise it up a little. Ooh, material girl. And then let's add more details in the hair once again. I know it doesn't make sense, but we gotta trust the process. You gotta put a little trust in me, baby. Anyway, let's redo the eyes real quick. Add this smegzy eyelashes. And then raise the inner part just a little bit and shazam you want to know what else is magsy headphones oh yes so i'm just gonna add this poorly drawn headphone on here we're gonna fix that later now we color this baby up so what i do is erase it just a little bit very softly using a soft brush okay mamma me and that's when i put these blobs of color and you know what looking back this is very inefficient but it's fun i could have just used a lasso fill tool or whatever but it's fun okay next we got the juicy shading. So I'm essentially like applying makeup right now, okay? I'm adding depth where it needs to be added, like around the eyes, the face. Okay, this looks horrible. He looks like the colossal titan, but that's okay. We're gonna airbrush it just like that. Also, like, let's add a blush. I like my characters looking like they're alcoholics, know what I'm saying? Don't forget the juicy lips. Ooh la la. Okay, so now we're gonna outline the eyes real quick. Yes, we did erase the sketch, only to redraw it again. So basically I'm just rendering the eyes, just adding some more shading around the eyes. Okay, this looks low-key very muddy, but anyway, let us yossify the juicy lips. We're gonna add the juicy bottom lip like that. Ain't no shame in juicifying the lips. Y'all gotta trust me on this one. Then we add a juicy upper lip, then smoothen it out using an airbrush. See? Very easy. Picasso. Now we're gonna yossify the eyes. Just make the wing a lot sharper. You know what, guys? This is basically a makeup tutorial. James Charles, I'm coming for you, man. Okay, so let's add the Illuminati triangle nose glow. I don't know. It just looks cool, okay? Even though the lighting doesn't make any sense, guys, flipping the canvas is essential. So apparently it's right here. Flip canvas horizontal. There we go. So now we can notice all the mistakes. And now we draw the hair. Bro, this tool is muddy. Ow. 
I'm just gonna gaslight myself into thinking that it's aesthetic. Okay, so let's add the shadows. When you're doing the shadows, I'm not doing the shadows individually like a noob, okay? I'm shading it all together like this. Just pay attention to like your light source. Here, the lighting is on the upper left, so obviously the shading is gonna be like this, right? Easy peasy. Okay, so now we clean the color. Okay, we are yet again using the muddy ah pen to color. You know what, guys? I've only been using this one brush brush this and the airbrush they're literally the only two brushes i use and that's my tip for you guys literally just find a brush that works for you and stick with that because as i said before your art style literally changes based on the brush that you use like believe me you don't need to use a lot of brushes just use what works for you okay anyway let's draw the headphone let's just look through a bunch of references okay there we go let's screenshot this baby real quick and crop and shazam okay let's replace Place this guy okay goodbye my little sissy baka you know what her fit is pretty cool so let's copy that i'm using the liquify tool to just fix that eye i'm like trying to fix the hair now oh hello once again my little sissy baka so like again we make blobs i'm just using this pointed brush to erase the blobs like this and just erasing it like that so it kind of looks like i know what i'm doing even though i'm not let's add dashes of blue again i have no idea what the heck i'm doing Doing. basically i'm just adding a vibrant color to make it pop it just looks good so anyway i'm gonna use the lasso tool to select the clothes and basically just define his muscular boobas okay so it honestly could use some more improvement but eh now we do the headphones i'm literally like so stupid did y'all know that i was searching up references for headphones and i was literally using my headphones when i was drawing this so i was like why don't i just use my headphones as reference so i did basically i rendered this baby up while i was holding my headphone so anyway i'm just using a bunch of different shades of blue gray anyway let's add another layer on the hair we're gonna make it shinier and greasier mm, i love oily hair so anyway let's just fix the face just a little bit i'm gonna make his eyes look like they're alive for once because my characters always look dead inside no cap for real for real let's just add a glow like this hmm okay picasso very smegzy lastly we're gonna add the glasses just gonna add this yet again poorly drawn frame and then we clean up using a soft airbrush eraser because it's looking crusty af right now and you know what guys the devil is in the details so we're gonna add a star on the glasses because we love a material girl am i right also add cute little stickers on his headphone oh yes Ooh la la okay so yeah we're finished okay here is my final verdict nobody asked for my opinion but anyway i'm not gonna lie ibis paint looks ugly af like literally i would not post a screenshot of my work in progress there just kidding okay if we're gonna judge it by how many tools it has and how user-friendly it is bro it is top tier man it is ultimate sissy baka waifu but it's not really for pros i mean if you're doing a little hentai manga series not for you man but like if you're a hobbyist if you're a little 12 year old well damn this is the perfect free app for you bro overall for a free app i give it maybe an 8 or a 9 out of 10 so yeah anyway watch this video next please subscribe and share this with your friends if you have any and stay cool